you know, when I started this channel nearly four years ago, it was just some guy that used to work in, a, in an Autodesk card supplier. Had a few tips and tricks in his head. Was like, I need to get them out there. Let's put them on YouTube. Seems the thing to do these days, four years ago. When I started doing that, things have progressed quite a bit since then. But I never thought it would get to this. Never, ever in my mind did I ever think this would be a thing. You've seen the title of the video. It's a thing. Stop stealing my videos without permission. Now, it kind of goes without saying, this is a rant, right? This is a rant, a waffly rant with a purpose. There's two purposes to this video. The first one is stop stealing my videos. It ain't cool and I'll take them down, especially when you've done it without permission. If somebody was to ask me, look, you made this really cool video. In fact, people have asked me, right? People have asked me. I've had people who work in universities, university lecturers say to me via email, you've got this video which would be great to use in a lecture. Would you mind if I took that video, downloaded it and used it in class? I'm like, crack on, absolutely. That's the point, that's the point. Please do, I am actually genuinely honored to get emails like that. I am genuinely honored. What's not cool is when people just upload, not just one video, my entire back catalog to their own channel. Not just one, not just two, not just three, not just 10, not 20, not my entire back catalog up to their channel. It's not cool. What do you hope to achieve from doing this? Seriously, what do you hope to achieve? My channel's quite small. In terms of YouTube, it's a pretty small channel. If you want to go and rip off somebody else's videos and try and get some kind of I mean, my ad revenue doesn't even cover my electricity bill. <laughs> what are you hoping to achieve? Are you using these videos on your CV? Like you're applying for jobs and saying, hey, I've got, you know, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, you know, I could do Inventor. Just check out this link to this video on my, uh, my YouTube channel. That's me. And then, but you've got videos of me on your channel on, on cam. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. I don't know. So that's the first thing. Stop uploading my videos. It's not cool. I will issue DMCA takedowns, and I have done. It's because just it's not cool. It's not because I'm being a dick. Obviously, that's my work. These videos are taking a phenomenal amount of my life making them. It's not cool to just nick that and put it up on your own channel. It's just not cool. Uh, and it, <laughs> This me doing this isn't going to stop people from doing it, right? They're going to do it anyway. I can put watermarks in the videos. I can. I've got my own introduction, that kind of thing. But people do it anyway. I mean, people have uploaded me on cam, so a watermark isn't going to stop them from doing this. But the second purpose of this is to just let you, you, my general audience, know that this is happening. And oh, thank you to people that have told me about this. Other people have come across my videos and been like, uh, uh, Neil, did did you know that this guy's just uploading your videos? And I'm like, oh, not again. <laughs> Not again, but if you do come across anybody else that's doing it, please send an email to the business the, the business email address. That's kind of what it's for. It's not for technical support, it's for letting me know about this kind of stuff. That would be great if people could do that. Uh, and then I'll just do, I'll do my thing and get them taken down. But it's, it's mind blowing that people are doing this. I have no idea what they're hoping to achieve. It's kind, is it flattering? I don't know if it is. It's annoying because I can take them down. I can remove them, not a problem. I've just got to, I've just got to know that they're there. But just so you can see the, the scale of this, Right, I've just issued a whole bunch of DMCA takedowns on these videos that you can see the tab up there, copyright infringement videos. Uh, but this, the first time it happened, it was these guys here, Viet Cad. And I shit you not, these guys are a genuine registered Autodesk reseller in Vietnam. They're not just some shady backstreet kind of company, one man band type. They're a proper, I think they're either a silver or a gold registered Autodesk reseller. And they just took my back catalog and uploaded it onto their channel and pretended it like it was their work. I mean, what kind of skills have you guys got if you need to then take somebody else's work and pretend like you did it? And you're selling and training inventor? I mean, what does that say about you lot? So these were the first lot to do it. And that was about three or four months ago, something like that. And then, uh, then it happened for this guy, not that guy, this guy here, Chucky DeCosta. You're an absolute twat, mate. You're a twat. I mean, what are you hoping to achieve by uploading these videos? If you're a subscriber, unsubscribe. I don't want people like you around on my channel if you're just going to take my videos and upload them as your own. So he's got one, he's got uh, two, three, he's got uh, four, five, six, uh, he's got seven. He's, he's got eight that I can see here. I haven't looked through the rest of his videos. I'm not even sure how I look through. That's just uploads, but that's not everything. Oh shit, 62. Right, he's got, right, I didn't even realize this until now. Yeah, he's got practically my, almost half my back catalog here uploaded. I've submitted takedowns for about eight or nine of these videos. Uh, I mean, but look, look. I'm on camera here, look. What the hell, man? What are you playing at? You absolute cretin. You titwinkle. Stop it. 
And then there's this guy here, Jake Stokes. All I did, I went, I went to YouTube and I just did a search for one of my iPod videos. And it came up as like second in the, in the YouTube hits below my original video. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. And this guy's got half my back catalog uploaded as well with me on camera as well. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the hell? So, yeah, like I said, this, <laughs> this, this is not going to stop people from doing it. But what a bunch of dickholes. What a bunch of dickholes. It'll happen to a lot of people, I imagine. There'll be a lot of YouTubers out there who will have have this happen to them. But they, they've they got networks behind them that will help take them down. I don't have a network. I've intentionally not signed up for a YouTube network. Uh, I get offers all the time. You get emails all the time. Once you get to like about 10,000 subs, you just get bombarded with people saying, hey, do you want to join our network? We're the best network. And I'm like, no, no, no thanks. I'm all right, actually. Uh, but if this gets any worse, I might have to. <laughs> I might have to just, just to help with this stuff. It's crackers. So, flattering in a way, I suppose, but if it's done for nefarious reasons, like these people are pretending like it's their work, uh, and if you're thinking to yourself, what, what's the big deal here, Neil? What's the big deal? So what, your video's up on someone else's channel. You're the real deal, it's you. You're the guy doing the video, it's your work. Some of these people could get lucky with one of the videos that they've uploaded. They might just get posted on Reddit or something like that, and then their channel gets all the traffic except mine doesn't that's the danger with people re-uploading other people's work it takes views away from the, the original author it's it's just it's theft it's theft of work a perjury perhaps maybe i don't know plagiarism not perjury plagiarism so not cool stop it immediately i will take them down any video that i come across now that i'm aware it's happening it's not just a one-off and it is quite regular i haven't even looked thoroughly these are just the first two people apart from the viet card lot these two people have just found them. I'm like, oh my God, is this like, is this serious or is it just a, a fluke that I've just found these two? Are these the only two? I don't know yet. I don't know. But I'm going to keep an eye out for it because it's not cool at all. But uh, if you find anyone that's doing it, if you can, I mean, uh, if you want to, you can submit a takedown. I don't know if you can or not. Um, or just let me know and I'll, I'll do it. Because it's like, oh, yeah, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Read. Thanks. Uh, anyway, whilst I'm on, I suppose I'll mention what's going on at the moment. Uh, the last video I did was the uh, CAD clinic or the render clinic, which got demonetized. The first ever video on my channel that got demonetized by YouTube. Go figure. Go figure. If, you, if you're if you a follower of other YouTube channels, you may be aware of the adpocalypse that's going on around here. It, I've been completely immune from it. Completely immune from the adpocalypse. Haven't had a single video flagged until I did a video talking about the ad clinic, and I think I mentioned towards the end that uh, YouTube revenue is pretty naff, and then that video got demonetized. I know I don't think I ever sworn it. I don't think there's anything controversial at all in that video, but nope, it got demonetized anyway. Uh, why did I mention that? I can't even remember why I mentioned that. It doesn't matter. The point is that was the last video that I did, and I'm still waiting for the results. <laughs> last time I checked the straw poll, I think 10% of people that watched the video bothered to vote. Which was like, mm -mm, right, okay. Does, is that like an indication of how popular this kind of thing is going to be? People watched it and they were like, whatever, not bothered. I don't know. But uh, by the looks of it, the CAD modeling clinic was the most popular one. Closely followed last time I checked by uh, people saying just do them both. So I might just do them both. It'd be pretty cool. It might be pretty cool. Uh, things are really busy at the moment, as they always are. I've got two day jobs. I, I work between two different companies, and the jobs are getting quite busy. I kind of do one job Monday, Tuesday for one company, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I work for a completely different company. Uh, and that's crackers. It's really, really crackers. So trying to keep up with the day job and then do YouTube afterwards is just manic. And there's times where I just, I just do not have the brain power at all to do YouTube. Uh, and I'm kind of going through one of those periods at the moment, but trying to fit stuff in as I go. So if, if the channel does go quiet now and again, it's not because I've just got bored and packed in here and it's just things, this isn't full time. I've tried. I tried the Patreon thing. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to Patreon and, and donated. It's much appreciated. But that the idea of the Patreon was like, maybe it'll be enough at some point to maybe take a day or two off my day job and the Patreon will kind of subsidize that. But it just didn't happen at all, so I've not been able to do that. But the money from the Patreon, its I've just left it as it is. It's still there in, in the Patreon pot. I haven't pulled a single penny out of Patreon yet. Uh, but when it gets to a point where I can like use it for something substantial, maybe like a monumental rendering rig or, a, uh, I, I don't know, something like I can use for the channel. Maybe when the next generation VR comes out and it can be used for CAD in a proper 
productive purpose. I, I could use it for something like that. I don't know. But uh, thank you to everyone that has so far. Subscribe to Patreon. You are, you are stars, stars of the show. I'm going to try and, if I do this cl clinic, I'm going to definitely integrate Patreon much more tightly into that. Because at the moment, I kind of get it. There's no there's no reward from Patreon. Most of the popular Patreon, I'm waffling, all right? If, you, if you're still watching me, thanks. I all I, was, all I planned on doing was whinging about people copying my videos, and I ended up waffling on about this. Um, and now I've just completely lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, most of the popular Patreon uh, programs, I guess you could call them, are the ones that offer like a tiered reward structure. So if you donate like a dollar, then you get like, I don't know, a shout out. If you do donate 10, then you get your, I don't know, a t-shirt or something like that. So I, those are the popular Patreons. At the moment, mine's just like donate whatever you want and you get a thank you message, which I kind of get. It's pretty, it's pretty lazy. Um, but with... with did two day jobs. I don't know. I always want to do day jobs, and you're like, oh, no one cares. Uh, but it's just difficult to commit to anything when you've got so many, <laughs> so many jobs on. But that's that's the goal anyway. The CAD clinic. I'm going to hopefully try and sort of interleave that with Patreon. Uh, anyway, right. You, you don't want to watch this waffle on. I'm going to I'm going to knock it ahead there. And uh, yeah, if you do come across anyone copying my videos, please do, please do uh, let me know. Or if you can, just go to the the copyright infringement. I think I just typed in YouTube, in Google YouTube DMCA takedown. It was like the first link that came up. And then you can report on a video that copies someone else's. So that be that. Thank you very much. I'm not going to bother putting an intro into this or uh, editing it at all. I'm just uploading it straight from the cam, straight raw file upload. So I'll see you there.